The XPS 17 is the latest like professional laptop from Dell. This thing promises to be incredibly powerful, incredibly versatile, and it's got like an edge to edge gigantic beautiful screen. But nothing's perfect and there are a few things that I'd like to fix myself on this laptop. So what is it and how can you do the same? Let's find out. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So today, we are going to be upgrading my Dell XPS 17 with 64 gigabytes of RAM and a two terabyte solid state drive. I'm very excited, let's just, let's just get started. We don't need any more chatting, we've already done all the chatting. Today we need to see stuff happen. And, let's crack open ye old toolkit. Now today I'm not gonna say that this is necessarily a how-to. Uh, this is just me upgrading my own personal laptop and showing you that if you wanted to do it, you could do the same. If you are planning on upgrading your own, I would make sure to follow all proper instructions from Dell so as not to void your warranty. You know, like not drilling out one of the screws because you stripped it uh, during your unboxing video. So yeah, this is me going through this. Now I know that I'm not, certainly not, an expert on any of this stuff. Again, I am the everyday dad. I am not the everyday IT person. Uh, so this is just me as an everyday person upgrading this myself and kind of showing you that you could do the same, right? If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. That's the whole point, right? So yes, Reddit, I'm not perfect. Uh, I will not do everything perfectly, um, but I'll show you all the mistakes I make so hopefully you can avoid them because that's kind of what we do here. Okay. Now there are a few things that we can upgrade in here as we saw in the previous video. We could upgrade both of the solid state drives, but I don't wanna do the one that came with the computer. The 512 is perfectly fine as like a work or like where I'm gonna keep all of my programs at. The two terabytes really gonna be for video files for all this YouTube stuff for me personally. I didn't feel the need to set them up in a RAID or anything fancy like that, so I'm perfectly okay. Hold on, before we do this, let's make sure it's turned off. Okay, it was turned off, thank goodness. I'm not totally crazy. I do, I know some things. Okay, and I do know that I'm using the wrong tool for this particular task, but I would prefer to not break this and I'll use this little rubber thing so as not to cause problems. One of the problems though of being the first person and apparently the only person on YouTube with this computer is I can't really point you all to any other creator um, for benchmarks, which is something that I normally do because I don't necessarily find benchmarks to be all of that um, useful. So let me know in the comments, what are some benchmarks, some basic things that you would like to know about this PC for our follow-up videos? Maybe we'll do a short like benchmark video tomorrow where we run through like Cinebench, 3D Mark, PC Mark, stuff like that. If there's something that you specifically want to see and it's pretty easy to do because I'm a pretty basic person, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to get that in the benchmark video. All right, here is the internals of our Dell XPS. I love uh, how all of this stuff looks. Now it does look like we can upgrade the RAM. I believe we can upgrade the Wi-Fi chip too, but I literally never upgrade any of the Wi-Fi chips here. So let's start off with the RAM first. So I have 64 gigabytes from a company called Mushkin. Mushkin, I just bought this on Amazon. Nobody's sponsoring this. Nobody provided me these parts. Normally I'll go with like a, what did we do last time? I don't remember what we did last year. I remember we had a Samsung drive last year. Um, but I didn't go with a Samsung drive this time because I did want to try some of the more budget drives out there. Okay, so let's, this should be pretty easy. They put these little flaps on here. But RAM is very simple to uh, get out. You just pop these little things here on the edge. See, it's held in by these little metal flaps. You just move these out to the side. The RAM will pop up and then you can just pull it out. So this is the RAM that comes with it. This is a eight gigabytes, one R by 16 DPAR. I don't know, you all were wanting to see this. So here is the RAM chip that comes with the computer and we will take out the other one too. It's the exact same process, pops up, then you yank it out. Same kind of chip. I'll set that over there and now we will take out the same. Now you do wanna make sure when you're installing RAM that you use two of the same speed and the same memory size. So this is a 32 gigabyte times two kit to give us 64, it's not 64 one. And we're not gonna do eight and then 16 or like 16 and 32. It's 32 and 32, 16 and 16, eight and eight. That gives you the dual channel benefit for RAM. And then to put it back in, you just slide it in at an angle. There you go. You hear that little click and then you push it down. Boom. That's how easy it is to upgrade your RAM. Like it's so simple. That's what I love about Windows laptops when they let you upgrade this stuff yourself. It's so quick 
and easy and you'd be crazy not to do it because all of the OEMs charge so much for this stuff like it's so much cheaper to just get the base model with some low amount of RAM and a low amount of storage and then you can just upgrade it yourself see look you pop it in boom took seconds I mean I've just been jaw jacking over here we could have done this in literal minutes well I mean we did we have already done it in literal minutes but if you're not trying to make a video of doing this it's even faster right I love this and that's one of the things like as somebody that primarily uses Apple computers um, it really sucks that you cannot upgrade those on your own because it would be very nice to do some of this yourself okay we've got the RAM now we're going to upgrade the SSD one, I believe this is the one that was empty, if I remember correctly from our unboxing video. Now the reason we're actually doing this video, um, instead of me just pointing you to last year's, is this is a different setup this year where you have to take the battery off in order to upgrade the storage, which I'm not a big fan of. I do kind of wish they'd let the storage kind of float there by itself. Like I don't necessarily, maybe somebody, if you are a computers electronic expert, let me know in the comments below. Like why I would want the battery to do this. I mean, there could be a legitimate reason. Like, I, again, super, super regular guy Gary here. Uh, there could be a legit reason. But I will say that I've been very impressed with this laptop so far. Um, I was kind of concerned about the 3050. I thought the 3050 graphics card, the, the NVIDIA 3050 that's inside here, would not be that powerful. But with that video editing video we did the other day, Holy cow, this thing has got some real power to it for being a, uh, you know, a business productivity laptop. Like, this is not a gaming laptop. And I've been very impressed with the couple of Cinebench runs that I've done on this thing. This You'll see it probably tomorrow, um, but this laptop is really really impressing me and I got a lot of comments also about like hey we all know you're gonna go back to your Mac look I use whatever works if Mac is what works because Mac is what works for me right now that's what I'll use but there was a time what like a year and a half ago where I totally switched over to Windows for video editing because Mac OS Catalina was awful so I will use what works I don't necessarily use what's popular and something I do want to point out while we're right here this is what I like about the XPS 17 and I'm really hoping when the XPS 15 gets in here it's a lot like this too in that look we've already got like the copper plate and the thermal pad pre-installed for this so all we have to do is just drop this in and we're good to go the same thing with the main drive over here on the XPS 15 from last year we only had one of the plates with the thermal pad we just had to put a thermal pad on the drive and find our own screw for the mount last year which I thought was kind of lame because these are not cheap laptops so you might as well just like put in the I don't even want to say it's a cent like the fraction of a cent that that screw would have cost to uh, put it in there that's what we should have done there she goes okay so we have the two terabyte NVMe M.2 from Inland, two terabytes, looks pretty good. I love, this is two terabytes of storage, like how crazy is that? They also, what is it, Sabrent has eight terabyte versions of this kind of drive, like how, that's, that's wild. That, I mean, man, I remember when flash drives were huge, I remember 3.5 millimeter floppy disks, and the big, what, the 5.1 floppy disks before that? Okay, so to install this, it's very similar to the RAM, you just do it at an angle, you hear the little, you feel that click, and then you put it down, and it's installed. Like, that's how easy this stuff is. That's why it's such, a, I always call it such a huge benefit um, in the comparison videos between Windows and Mac when you can do this upgrading yourself because it's so easy and it saves you so much money. Like, just a few seconds of time, a few seconds of work, and we've totally revamped this laptop. Like, before we started this, the laptop had 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it had 512 gigabyte of storage. Now it's got, what, 2.5 terabytes of storage? And 64 gigabytes of memory, which is gonna be so awesome. This might, this might legit turn into uh, my productivity laptop going forward. The only thing I don't like so far is just how big it is. I mean, it is a 17 inch laptop, what did you expect, Gary? But I prefer smaller laptops. You know, I'm a very big fan of the MacBook Pro 13. I'm very excited to see that 15 when it gets in. I think the 15 is really going to, because the 15 has the same processor and the same GPU. I think that XPS 15 could give my MacBooks a very big run for their money. Okay, so the very first test will be, does it even turn back on? Did we screw it up so much that the laptop itself will not turn back on? Okay, alert, the amount of system memory has changed. Okay. That is what we would like to see, right? Come on, boot back up. Let's, come on, Gary did everything right, right? Gary did everything right, right? 
Uh, the wheels are spinning so far, so hopefully uh, this is uh, this is not turned into a video that we can't upload tomorrow, and we know and we now no longer have a video for tomorrow. Turn on XPS. Restarting. Okay, that's probably a good sign. Getting Windows ready. Wow, we are. Oh, it's updates. That's why. That's why. Updates. Hooray, I love updates. I like updates. I just don't like when they happen as we're trying to do something. That's how you can tell this is live. This is real because the updates are happening. If this was all scripted and edited and massaged to make it look perfect, well, then the updates would have already happened, right? Welcome to behind the scenes. Okay, the computer turns on. So far, so good, right? That is the uh, exactly what we wanted to see so far. So let's actually check out and see if we have the... Okay, this PC... Okay, we do not see the drive yet. We will have to mount it and format it and partition it if I remember correctly. So let's, we'll do that in a second. No steam. Some information. Okay, yep, everything's still the same. And you can see installed physical memory, 64 gigabytes. Virtual memory, 73 gigabytes. So we have, look at that, 64 gigabytes of RAM now installed on our computer, super fast. But what we do need to do first, Okay, so it's actually been about an hour since the last break we took because I made a little bit of a boo-boo that I had to correct. And that's one thing. So this is a new thing that I found on Windows 10. Um, so when you're initializing a new drive, don't go to storage settings. Storage settings bring you brings you to this thing called storage space. And if you use that, that will then mess up trying to initialize your drive normally. So what you want to do is go to partition. This is what happens when you spend too much time in Mac OS land. Here we go. So now you can see in the partition, it sees our drive, it's totally healthy, ready to go. All we have to do now is create a new simple volume. It sees everything. We create it, it will format the drive and set it up perfectly well. Now our new two terabyte drive is working in perfect order. So we have, within a few minutes, it actually got done. It then just took me an hour to figure out the mess I put myself in. So everything worked really well, super simple to do. Highly recommend upgrading your laptops yourselves as long as you follow your manufacturer's warrantied information. But what are some other content you'd like to see on the XPS 17? Again, let me know what kind of benchmarks you'd like me to run. I've got to provide the internet full of information, I guess. And if there's anything else you'd like to see about the XPS 17, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and you would like to see how this does work as a video editing tool, you can find my video for that by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.